Hi, I'm Scott Neuberger with LifeChargePulse.com, and I'm here tonight with Mike Levitt, and he is a music writer, a singer, and a musician. You know, he's also a father, and he's very involved with his church and has music leaders, leadership positions within the church. He's going to talk to us tonight a little bit about his success in life. Thanks. Yeah. So, Mike, again, generally what we do in Life Charge Post is we talk about three questions. And the first question is just to tell me a little bit about your success and how you achieved it. Second question is how has it affected you? And then the third question is how has it affected other people? Okay. Well, um, as far as, as my success is concerned, um, you know, I've, I've had success with music all my life, really. Um, it's been a, a, a big part of my life and, and a love of my life. And I think that's probably one of the main reasons why. I've been successful at it is is the the love that I have for music. It's it's funny my my wife often says you know they need to look at your brain when music comes on Mike because I think it wired it's wired differently and <laughs> right those brain waves really I start know. pumping when when that music comes on right right and it's it's just funny in fact just uh, the other uh, just today I was in a I was in a store and and some song came on and it just I'm like. Why am I getting emotional over this song? That's not right. I'm just up here to buy a book. I'm just in the store. Right? <laughs> I know. The song comes on. So, great. I mean, it's always been a passion of mine. It's, right. it's been a great love of mine, and, and I've, I've really enjoyed it. Um, when did you first start uh, feeling as though music was going to be a big part of your life? Pretty early. Um, I, I started playing piano young. Um, you know, I tell people I learned how to read music before I learned how to read. And, wow. And that's probably pretty close to true. That is that's pretty... Right. Pretty much the same time, Absolutely. and so I, I I I was really good. Um, I, I was really good at playing, I guess, and and um, I had some success, and and um, was really encouraged by my parents to to pursue it, and and so it's always been a big part of my life. Um, and then as I uh, really got into music, as far as um, learning about different different styles of music, different composers, different bands, different things that I liked about it, and and uh, it really it really pushed me further. Um, I was probably in high school when I really decided that I was going to study music in college, and that um, you know that that was really a direction that I, I wanted to go and. Um, did you have any particular instrument that you liked the most, or any type of uh, music that you liked playing? Well, I start I started on the piano, and I love the piano. I mean that that that's just that's a great joy. And I, I studied with some really fine um, tutors and and teachers, and um, was really blessed with that. Um, and then I, I my family we, were, we all sing, and so I started singing, and that was kind of a natural progression. Well, that's great. Yeah, yeah, it was it was wonderful to be able to do that, and uh, um, so that's that's really so voice and, and piano keys are, are my instruments. Okay, great, and I definitely I've heard you perform before, and it's just <laughs> outstanding. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to have you on the on the show tonight, oh. is just because you you really definitely have a talent and, and a great skill, and it's 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 beautiful to hear you play. Well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Great. Well, and so tell me a little bit about how you were able to develop your talent. Obviously, you said that you're reading music at a very young age, but you know you don't get to be as good as you are just by dinkering around on the piano. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> I think, I mean, I think there is some talent um, involved, but no amount of talent can overcome hard work and learning the skills that it takes to play. I mean, you can be the most talented musician in the world and if you can't you know uh, have practice your fingers to play the piano in a certain way it's not going to play right right so I in fact uh, one, one of my teachers would often say one of my best teachers uh, Chip Brimhall phenomenal musician Juilliard trained guy and just just a wonderful wonderful teacher um, you know, he'd tell me that it takes 10,000 hours I think to to becomes a success to become an expert in a certain wow. area and so I that was something I really took to heart and, and um, although I wasn't the best practicer in the world <laughs> I did a lot of it and yeah. and um, you know it really that I, having those skills is is more is more important than any talent you could have 
Yeah, no, and I, yeah, I, I think that's a really important point, an important principle, because I know you've probably seen it before. I know I've definitely seen it in my lifetime, where you see somebody that does have some great talent, whether it's an athlete, a musician, or even a business person that just has a knack for what they do, but doesn't put the time and effort in to really develop that, and, and doesn't really go anywhere. Sure, and 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 at the same time, I think that that. They have those skills because of the of the work they put into it. Yeah. And in other words, you know, somebody has as people skills and are able to to do the things that they do, able to to sell a product or able to to um, you know connect with somebody in a way because they've done it over and over and over again right. and have made mistakes and and that's uh, it's the same thing with anything with any skill with, with the piano. The only reason why I can play the piano better than most, I I think. I may have a modicum of talent, but most of it has come through just making mistakes and doing it again. Yeah. Well, I think I think that's a, a good point because if you really think about it, you know, some of the keys for success is not just having the talent, but having the passion to continue to work hard, really want to yeah. work hard so that you can develop it. So you can get to a point where, you know, you you know you've made mistakes in the past, but you've overcome them and get to a point where you're just very successful at what you do. Yeah, well, I think that I, I think that's a big, big thing. I, it was funny when you when you asked me to, to be on here, I, it's kind of funny to me because while I recognize my ability to do things, I still don't consider myself necessarily a success. I mean, I see so <laughs> many great players out there and w unbelievable composers and phenomenal you know, singers, I just go, wow, right. they're so great. You right. know, so I know, you know, I'm probably in the top, you know, 2% or 1% of players, <laughs> but there's so many more that are so good that, that I you just, you know, you've got to keep growing and keep moving forward no matter what other people say. <laughs> always progressing. No, yeah. and that's true. And it always gives you more of a motivation to continue to become better. Right. But at the same time, it is important to realize that, you know, many people look up to you with your skill and your talent and the way that you play, there's not many people that can. So it's, it's important to recognize that. And I think it's also important, you know, not just for you, but everybody to understand that their wins, no matter how small they may think they are, are, are significant. And they're yeah. important. And even though we may not be, you know, on the big screen playing football or on the big screen uh, giving concert and things like that, if it's a success in our life and if we've achieved goals in our life, it's very significant and it's important and it helps in our development. Oh, it's – yeah, you're right. I mean it's it's really important to, to uh, recognize those successes when they come. You know, um, I had the opportunity when I was young – I was in high school and I was singing in a little um, uh, a cappella group. Um, we called ourselves Heat, and we did a lot of doo-wop music and, mm -hmm. and things. And and it just so happened our bass, um, our bass's father was uh, was a music, it was a radio guy, uh -huh. and so he asked us to come in and do some recording to to do some um, uh, to do a radio spot for the fair coming up, the county fair or something. Oh, great! But to do have us do that. Um, the incentive was then we could record the Star Spangled Banner and send it in to the Sacramento Kings to, to you know, have, see if we could sing for, for uh, before the, wow. the basketball game. Right. And we got accepted. We got to go sing, and that was a real, wow. that was real fun. Um, and but it was it, it was interesting that um, you know you're in the moment and then you do it and then you need to sit back and go, wow, that was really cool to be able to experience you know something that big right i just sang in front of thousands of people right right or you know to to know that your hard work has has done something um uh when i was in college we had i i was um performing a, an oratorio and it was really really difficult really hard <laughs> and um when we got finished we did a tour that was also pretty pretty strenuous and we got done with the tour and and um but it was just such a great thing to have on the final night singing um singing in the in the in the tabernacle as wow. a matter of fact and and um it was just an amazing thing and to know that you'd worked so hard and it all kind of came together at that moment yeah, <laughs> you know just so. kind of the, the the peak of all your work right. and your efforts and, and salt lake tabernacles where you say right, yeah beautiful mm -hmm. that's great well and that's that's one big part of what life charge post is all about is 
for people to be able to share their successes. Because if it's if it's a success for you, if it's a goal attained for you, then it can definitely be inspiring for other people. And it's important to recognize uh, people's successes and goal attainments because you know if it's if it's important to you, if it's important to people around you, then it is significant. And, and that's what we'd like to to encourage uh, on LifeChargePulse.com. Second question uh, is how has it affected you? And obviously, you know, you've kind of already shed some light on that about how it's made you feel and uh, great experiences you've had. But tell me a little bit more. Well, about I think there's a couple of levels of how it's affected me. I think it, it's affected me um, initially. They, um, when I was a young kid, it affected me in the way that I really felt it helped me um, with my schoolwork. And, and, for example, memorizing songs on mm -hmm. the piano um, – Memorize doing things in school was easy compared to that. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's and great. so, and so, you know, doing well in school was was, I, I felt like I had some of those skills already built in, and also being recognized as, you know, a music guy, a piano player, or something. Right. You know, there's Mike, the piano guy. You know that I think that helps with self esteem because sure. it's something that you accomplish. So it feel good. Yeah. yeah. So it so affected me in that way. And I'd almost say that it also helps in identity. You know, you, oh, yeah. you, it helps you to connect with who you really are inside and being able to develop a talent that you have a passion for, a gift, right. maybe that God's given you is, is really great in helping you to establish your identity at a young age. I think that's true. <clears throat> I think that's, and I think that's why it's really important, you know, to find, for find, have your kids find things that, that help um, them find that same identity. Um, so there's, there's that level of just that initial building block kind of stuff. 